I'm Dave Lenning Sr. I'm Dave Lenning Jr. You know, we've been doing the tips of the week now for several years, and we've been trying to bring you new tips and new ideas on how to take care of your equipment, how to improve your shooting. So what we're going to do on this segment is called Old School versus New School. Uh, I've done things uh, over the years with my 45 years of archery experience of uh, tuning my bows. Today we're going to talk about paper tuning versus what they want to do is walk back tuning. Same process, same technique. Paper tuning, you have to shoot your bow quite a bit. You have to be familiar with your equipment. And when you go to shoot, paper tuning does two or three things. It shows you that you have bad form. Shows you that your bow's out of tune, and it also shows you if you have a weak arrow spine. So we'll try to put all that together for you. Tell us what walk back tuning does. Walk back tuning actually takes where you start with your paper tuning. It's a good ground zero. You start there, you can get semi close to what you want. Uh, you can do all the tuning you want to here in one of the devices and, and with all the machines you want, but it doesn't actually tell you how you shoot your bow. What you're going to want to do is be able to shoot your bow accurately, not only at 20 yards, which is pretty much standard throughout the industry, but you want to be able to shoot it at greater distances as well. So you take that, that paper tune that you've done here in the shop, and you want to be able to take that out and apply that out in the field. Well, that gives you a, a zero mark. That would be your starting point. So what you want to do is you take that, put a mark on your rest, and then you walk back to 20 yards, you shoot it, you're dead on, go back to 40, go back to 60 is where I like to go, and then shoot again and make sure arrow's not drifting one way or the other. Now, you're going to do this multiple times so that you can take the human error out of it. And once you get the arrow where it's not drifting one way or the other, you can go back up 20 side back in, go back to 60, shoot, and if it's, as long as it's going straight in, you know your arrow is tuned up, your bow is tuned up for you personally, and it may not be exactly what it would be here on the vise. Now one thing we both agree on is that you have to shoot your bow repeatedly. You just can't shoot it once a month and expect to go out there and tune your bow because you're going to be out of shape, your form is going to be distorted. So you need to practice with your bow and get real familiar with your equipment. And then not, all, not everybody can shoot 40 and 50 yards. They have that little fear factor in them, but once you start shooting and get more familiar with your equipment, then there's no reason why you can't make 50 and 60 yard shots. So, let's take Kenny. Kenny is fairly new to archery. He's been shooting, you know, for about a year. Uh, he doesn't shoot that often, so he's a, a good source for us to paper tune his bow. And uh, we'll go back there in the range and we'll paper tune, see how he does. Okay, we're going to get Kenny to shoot his bow. <clears throat> we're going to get him to shoot three arrows in the target. And in the interest of time, we're not going to show each shot, but we're going to show you the result of each shot and how we've made the corrections. So, Kenny? At your leisure. <laughs> okay, this was his shot. Then we came back and then we tuned his bow a little bit right here. We made some adjustments on his wrist. And we went up to the right, or we went to the right on this shot. Then he came back and then he shot this one. This is the one that uh, he made up to the right and you can see He's slightly uphill, so we went in there and we changed his string loop, or his knock point. We pulled it down, I'll take that back. We changed his string loop and we pushed the string loop up to lower the tip of his arrow down because in this one his tip is slightly up. So we lowered his tip down by raising his string loop and then he shot almost a perfect bullet hole. So by, by doing this setup right here, we know that his error is coming straight off his bow. It's making a good clean shot. When his error comes out to about 10 feet, it's already starting to straighten up and have a good flight pattern. Dave Lenning, I do things the old school way. I'm David Jr. and I tend to do things the more modern way. So it's your choice. Find out what works best for you. From Dave Lennings, that's your archery tip of the week and we'll have you pumping blood. Uh, next week's segment will be on walk back tuning your bow.